Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Domino7 here. Alright, I'd like to welcome y'all to this vlog here. Today, the first day. The first day uh, that, that we're going to watch Jeopardy without Alex Trebek, you know. So, the, uh, the, the, the hosting gig is going to go to Ken Jennings for right now, you know. Okay, so what I want to talk about is that that uh, Kim Jennings went from the the, the podium of, of contestants row to the hosting podium. Okay, I heard he was walk, working behind the scenes at Jeopardy. You know, so I mean when he said Kim Jennings was gonna host, I was like, oh, he, he gonna be the new host from now on. You know, but. Unfortunately for us, we're gonna have random hosts like they had like they had random announcers for Will of Fortune after Charlie O'Donnell passed away and random uh hosts I mean uh announcers on the price is right when Rich Fields got fired, you know? A lot of uh well about five no five or six uh uh no uh yeah yeah five or six Announcers, and then after Rod Roddy passed away in 2003, they had about seven or eight or nine uh, random announcers, you know. So, yeah, I watched them game shows Will of Fortune, Jeopardy, The Price is Right, you know. So, uh, today I want to know how many of y'all gonna watch uh, uh, this today's episode of Jeopardy. I know I will. You know, with uh, with, with Ken Jennings as, as the host, you know. So, so unfortunately for us, we 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 ain't go uh, uh, we we not gonna see Alex Trebek on the show anymore, you know. So, so all I can say is the show must go on, you know. If we want to continue on watching Jeopardy, you know, the show must go on, you know. Just like The Price is Right is going on without Bob Barker and Drew Carey is hosting, you know. They they, they they had to do no no random hosts on Price is Right, you know. At that time, they, uh, 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 people was talking about Rosie O'Donnell hosting The Price is Right. And some people wanted to boycott The Price is Right if that would happen, you know. So, so I have my fingers crossed that that they didn't boycott the prices right, but but thank God they didn't, you know. Okay. All right. So, and and and, and my point of view about Ken Jennings host on the prices right. I'm gonna say the Jeopardy. I say prices right. I meant Jeopardy. Ken Jennings host in Jeopardy. I think he gonna do a great job, you know. That's what Alex Trebek wanted, you know. And and and, and for some of you that don't know. I done my research about years back that uh, that Art Fleming was the host of Jeopardy before Alistair Beck, you know. But that that I I watched that on YouTube a, a, a few times and I liked it, you know. I'm talking about the last uh, uh, time of like like in the ni uh, 1978 1979 series, you know. I like that one, you know. Okay, so I, I wasn't even born when Art Fleming was hosting Jeopardy. I was born in 1984. Okay, I, I'm 36, and, and I'm gonna be 37 in September. Okay. All right. So, so anyway, as I was saying, y'all, uh, 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 brace yourselves to watch Jeopardy with Kim Jennings. Okay. So. So I'm I'm bracing myself to watch the show because I w I would definitely watch the show today, okay. So, so anyway, Braden Smith, I'm proud that he had a chance to meet Alex Trebek, and 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 some of the the so, 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 some of the people that uh, uh that was on Jeopardy the last last few times, they they were honored. You know what I'm saying? We love you, Alex Trebek, okay. Not only that, uh, you know. I would agree that that that, that Art Fleming would would 
would have would have approved of, of Ken Jennings hosting Jeopardy, you know? Yeah, Art Fleming would have. Yeah, because you know, I guess Art Fleming and uh, it, it was Art Fleming and Alex Trebek was in the same boat. I wonder, you know, because I, I I also watched a pilot of, of Jeopardy with Alex Trebek when he when when he when he did did the Witch Macaulay, you know, you know the card flip and whatever, whatever I'm trying to say, you know, talking about. As they played in the Art Fleming uh, uh, one, you know, I wasn't born that time. That was 1983, with Karen Moanaka, uh, uh, and um, I forgot the other guy name, last name Champion, and then Cynthia Grove, you know, Jack Champion. That, that that's the guy named Jack Champion, you know. So, yeah, that that, that that's the man named Jack Champion, you know. That's his name, you know. Mm-hmm. I almost forgot, you know. So, as I was saying, y'all, I, I, I'm going to enjoy this, you know. I, I, I wonder how many people that's going to that's gonna host uh, Jeopardy. You know, Ken Jennings is one of them. Some people say LeVar Burton is going to go, go, go audition, too. You know, he seemed like a great guy. Been all reading Rainbow and stuff like that. I, I ain't recognize him, you know. And I, I, I ain't even know his name back in the day, you know. Until I done my research on him and he did read a Rainbow, you know. Okay. Take a look, is in the book Reading Rainbow, you know. Alright, so, uh. So I hope y'all gonna enjoy the show, you know. Okay, cause you know, Ken Jennings. He gonna do a great job. I I I guarantee y'all that. You know, and you know what though? There's something I wanted to tell y'all. Buzzy Coyne wanted the job. If Buzzy Coyne would have got that, he would have did a great job. You understand? Buzzy Coyne would would have did a great job, and I guarantee that though. But let's keep our fingers crossed. After Johnny Gilbert retire, let's keep our fingers crossed. Prayers up. That Buzzy Coin gonna get the announcing job, you know, cause I, I I I would love that, you understand? I don't know what where Buzzy Coin live at right now, you know. I, I don't know where he live. I I I forgot where he from though. Okay, but he he would have to move to Los Angeles to to uh, uh be be on Jeopardy as the announcer, you know. But I I'm, I'm sure he 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 might have did move to Los Angeles, you know. Cause one day at the at the tape in the Jeopardy, he was he was uh he was sending the audience. I, I don't I don't remember which episode, you know. And it was great to see see all of them on on the show, especially Matt Jackson, you know. I mean, and, and you know one more thing I want to tell y'all. Uh, Buzzy Corn almost stolen uh Matt Jackson season season thirty two. Cut the ceiling fan on. I got the heat on. I was I get hot too quick, but anyway, as I was saying, y'all, Buzzy Cohen almost stolen uh, Matt Jackson's uh, a season, you know, season thirty-two, you know, he was the second uh, a, a streaker since Matt Jackson after defeating Andrew Powell, you know. Yes, indeed, they they were friends too, you know. I mean, I have my fingers crossed that. That Buzzy Coin would would go to the tournament champions with Andrew Powell. Okay, I had my fingers crossed on that. You know, I really did. You know, so will will Ken Jennings uh, 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 host Jeopardy for for, for 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 the remainder for, for the remainder of, of the season for, for the remainder of uh, uh, of the time? Let's hope that. You know. And let's hope that, that Buzzy Corn be the announcer after Johnny Gilbert retires, you know. Because, you know, I think it's a great idea that that uh, uh, Buzzy Corn, you know, could could get the job, you know. Because he wanted to host Jeopardy in, 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 in Alex Trebek's podium. He did. And, you know, I, 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 almost, I, I almost disagreed with that, you know. So, so let's keep our fingers crossed for Ken Jennings 
and Buzzy Cohen, you know, because, you know, Buzzy Cohen, I, I, I like Buzzy, you know. His real name is Austin, you know. So, so hey, you know. And, and Austin Rogers, you know, he said he would never want to want to face off against James Osar, and, and and I know why, you know. I missed all that, you know. And then Jason Zuffernary that kind of replaced uh, uh, James Osar in, in in his season. He said it's not like James used to do. That's exactly what he said. It's not like James used to do, you know. I I mean I did not expect. Uh, uh, Jason Zephyr to, to mention James' name, you know. I, I, I really didn't expect that. He said, this is not what James used to do, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, Jason Zephyr uh, uh, watched uh, 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 James Osar, and I know James Osar watched Jason Zephyr, you know. But I want to let y'all know something. If Emma Betcher wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have defeated if Emma Betcher wouldn't, wouldn't have defeated uh, 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 James, if, if James Hosar would have kept winning and winning, he would have faced off against Jason. Trust me on that one, yo. He he would he would he would have faced off against Jason. I guarantee you that, you know. Or or if or, or if Emma Betcher would would have kept on winning like like James was, he would have he would have uh, uh, I mean she would have. Faced off against Jason Zuffernary, but I wish that would have happened though. I know, I know Jason Zuffernary is aware of Emma Betcher, and I know Emma Betcher is aware of Jason Zuffernary. You know, she she watches the show. I guarantee it. You know, mm-hmm. Yep. I sure love watching these game shows. You know, it, it, it ain't nothing like Jerry Springer. You know. Okay. All right. So. All I'm going to say is, uh, uh, Ken Jennings, I'm going to definitely watch you today, okay? You're going to do an excellent job. I guarantee that, okay? That's all I got to say. All right? Bye.